We're going to move on now to this story, which is in Thursday's Guardian. Nick, students, are they still being annoying? Uh, is this about roads, I presume? This is because uh, that's a, such a general question you've asked. Uh, yeah, they, yeah. Almost, they, <laughs> they are quite annoying. Are. No, but they were the ones. The students in Oxford were the ones trying to get the statue of Cecil Rhodes okay. torn down. Yeah, so it's Rhodes Scholarship Trust refuses to back calls to remove Oxford statue, and they basically they've sort of said that, that we won't do this, but in a kind of ha- still a hand wringing kind of apologetic way. Why are they still talking about this? They're still soul searching. But they're actually not going to take the statue down. But this, was, uh, this debate was had years ago. Well, Why exactly, this... Andrew, because someone's criticised it and said the soul searching should have now moved on significantly. So it's the pace of soul searching that we're concerned about. Yeah, I think I think at this point, just keep all statues up, just because woke people want to take them down. This is no why I don't. Well, yeah, and, and then talk about the statues. Uh, Dr. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Kiss, the chief executive, she's spoken and said that the, they need to have a series of exhibitions designed to explore the legacy. Fine, put yes. a plaque on it, talk about it. Well, that's what they did. I was at Oriel College right. recently giving a talk, and I was gutted there were no protesters, and apparently not remotely controversial. Oh, no! So I was there, and I saw the Statue of Rhodes, and then there's, a, there's now a plaque yeah. below it explaining about the legacy of colonialism, etc. And that seems to do the trick, doesn't it? So, I mean, and, and I thought the students... But well, what's interesting about this article, it talks about how the activists are basically saying... Because uh, the organisation has described itself as being in listening mode, right? But when activists say, you need to listen, what they mean is you need to agree. That's yes. what they really mean, isn't it? So they're not going to let this go. But ultimately, I think it's good that the university is standing by and saying, no, you don't get to tear yeah. down historical monuments because you don't know much about history. Absolutely. It's a step in the right direction, isn't it? It reminds me of when people have a fight in a relationship and they actually don't really want to forget about it. If, if you remember what somebody did, you can keep bringing it up. So, And as we, you know, we've discussed this many times on the show, but... Historical figures, ethical values trend, t- oh, tend to yeah. change over time. Uh, he would have had different values than we have today. Everyone agrees that slavery is abhorrent and everyone agrees that people shouldn't be exploited. But it's, a, it's, a, it's not a statue that is saying, look how great slavery is. The statue is, is, is sort of marking a, an aspect of our history. And if we just delete all the negative aspects of our history, that's not really history. Well, that- no, exactly. Exa- it won't be history. Exactly. Any final thoughts on that, Nick? No, I think you've covered it so well. Although when you said that thought, you know, morals change over time, were you suggesting that slavery will be thought of as good again in the future? No, I absolutely, <laughs> I absolutely wasn't suggesting. Well, it could be, couldn't it? Who knows? But uh, I'm hoping not. Okay. Because I think we've all agreed now that it's a bad thing.